In this tutorial, we're going to carry on looking at our project media panel and how we can organize our footage and find things with a very smart search function, which we then can create something called a smart bin. Now, at the moment, I've organized lots of different tags. And if I click on the one that says castle, I've got three clips in there, two of which have not got the name castle inside of them. One says no idea and one says boat into harbour, but both of them, that one's clearly got the castle in the background. And I happen to know that this boat comes in and you can see a castle in the background. So I've put these ones in the bin myself because I know that they've got something to do with castle. So I'm trying to organise my footage as best I can. However, I may have missed items and not added them in because I might have so many different bits of media that I need to find one that says castle. So I'm going to click at the top where it says all media. Now, it's fairly easy to see in this very small selection of footage what's there and what isn't. But if you've got hundreds of different clips and you need to be able to find them, it then becomes very important how you have named your clips on your hard drive. If it has got the name of the item that you're searching for, then you'll find it. But if it hasn't got that name or it's not in the comments section of your clip, then you're really going to struggle to actually find the clip. So naming clips is really important. And one of the good things you can do inside Sony Vegas Pro is you can rename your clips right here inside the project media panel. We'll come to that in a minute. Let's actually start off by doing a search. So with all media selected at the top, because this won't work, by the way, if you have a tag selected, you really do need to be all media at the top. You can right click and you find you've got search media bins option. You click on there and it brings up a dialog box and you can do a search. Now, there are lots of different fields that you can search. You can do names and comments. You can search tags, markers. You can go all the way down to the bottom, notice video format. And when you search a video format, you could say if you've got two cameras that have brought in two different types of footage, then you can actually search one type of footage and separate out the streams from the two cameras with a smart search. So this is really good, but I'm actually leaving it at all. And I'm going to go contains castle. And when I click search, it brings up four items. Now, bear in mind, my castle tag just had three. But what this search result has done is it's found the one that was missing, the one that says Island Lighthouse Castle. So if I look at my castle tag, you'll see it's not there. But if I go to my search results, you'll see it is there. OK, so it's added the one in. It's found the one that was missing. And I've got a number of options here. I could just simply tag this one for castle and leave it at that. Or I can make use of this search result by right clicking on the search result and saving it either as a bin. So it does castle bin and I can have a castle bin all to myself, which is a new bin that I can create or as a smart bin. And I'm going to save it as a smart bin because smart bins can update as things change. So I'm going to save a smart bin. And then it takes me back to the all media tag at the top. And I'm just going to open up my smart bin and I'm going to just change its name because you can see it's a little bit hidden there. I don't need search result in there. So click on it once. You can right click and rename or if you just gently click on it, you'll often get the opportunity just to select and rename. So I'm just going to get rid of those bits and pieces there and just call it castle. Click away. It's accepted. So there's my smart bin and you'll see that here are my tags. Now, if I really want to tag this clip that's missing, see if I tag that one, it's got no tag to it I can do one of two things. I could click and drag it into the castle tag bin or alternatively, I've got a keyboard shortcut control plus four. So control and four and that's added the tag to that particular one so that when I go to castle now, you'll see that it's included in there because they've all got castle associated with them. Now, what happens if I were to rename one of my other clips to include the word castle? So I've got my smart bin here. I'm going to go back up to all media and I've got this one here that says 3DC. If I select it and you can either right click on it and go down to rename or you can select it and then click again. And quite often you'll find that you get the opportunity to rename it. There you go. I could call that one Castle. Castle 3DC. OK, just click away to accept it. And now it's moved over here to Castle 3DC. And if I go down to my Castle tag, it's not in there. But if I go down to my Smart Bin and I click on there, notice that Castle 3DC has been brought into the Smart Bin. It's noticed that there's been a change and added it to the bin, which means that this can be a really useful way of sending clips to where you want them to go. Now, you can theoretically right click on the bin and say Edit Search and add 
further conditions. My experience with this, however, is it's a little bit hit and miss. So if you do want to do additional searches, I would just create additional smart bins. Just do additional searches. So I'm going to cancel. What you can do is always remember, go to all media at the top and then search again. And you can go down to search media bins. And then you can say anything that's going to say, say, let's say I've got a new one here. And I'm going to say surf, S-U-R-F and enter surf. And then all the ones that have got surf written in them are created in this smart bin. But it's not saved until I've right clicked on it and I've gone save a smart bin and now if I rename anything with the word surf again I'm, I'm going to get into the habit of just getting rid of this search results bit here so if I rename anything with surf I will instantly find it comes into this particular smart bin now one other thing to say I renamed if you remember this particular clip castle 3dc originally it was called 3dc but now I've changed it to castle 3dc and I just want to show you on Windows Explorer that there is no clip called 3dc anymore but there is a clip called castle 3dc which means that when I renamed it inside my project media panel I renamed it on my hard drive as well okay so it's just worth knowing that you are actually renaming your items on your hard drive when you're renaming them inside this project media panel however if I was to rename it in here I would find that it disappears or needs to be reconnected and I get that search dialog box saying where is it I don't understand what's going on so it's just important to realize that when you're changing Eclipse name here you're actually changing it at the source and that also updates the the one that generates your audio waveform and the one that gives us this little uh, icon here which are what these additional files are here so I'm just gonna shut that down one other word about renaming clips I've got one here called no idea so I'm just gonna click on it and click again and it gives me the ability to rename it otherwise I could have just right clicked and hit rename I'm gonna call this one castle pan and this type of naming is called camel type and notice I've got a capital letter for the first word and a capital letter for the second word sometimes people prefer to create what we call strings without spaces sometimes people don't like spaces for search results this is a perfectly good way of doing it you can put an underscore if you wanted to as well or you can do camel type and it will be picked up perfectly well so if I just click to accept it you can see that it's moved up to here and if I go to castle it's still there castle pan without any problems whatsoever so just realize that there are lots of ways to organize your footage you can do it by type you can create your own media bins and put bits and pieces in you can add tags in or you can use smart bins but remember if you are going to do a search don't search with a bin selected go back up to all media at the top and then do your search and then you can create your bins which are dynamic and will update should you change the name of any of the clips one final example I've got one here called untitled clip 01 if I was to select that and rename that and I was to call that castle surf enter if I now go to castle there it is and if I go to surf there it is okay so as you name the clips if it meets a search condition in your smart bins it will drop into that bin and be available to find really quickly in the next tutorial we're going to look at capturing footage from an HDV camera to bring in and use in Sony Vegas Pro my name's Andrew Davis and thanks for watching